is up guys today I wanted to go over a little bit about clock springs how they work what they're all about and we're gonna take it apart and uh, show you what it looks like on the inside now these back in the day when airbags first came out they were necessary because the steering wheel turns with the airbag right while well, the steering column stays still so how are we gonna connect that airbag to the rest of the vehicle that's staying still well, they had sliding contacts, it looks something like this, but it had contacts inside of here and they just slide over each other, right? Be like a two track thing and it would just it would just slide and go round and round as you turn the wheel. No big deal, always have contact under spring tension, right? Well, the idea they found it didn't work too well because the contacts will wear out and you start having airbag problems and everything else. Nowadays, clock springs are used for everything. All your steering wheel controls, your audio, your fan, uh, your sync controls, your horn, everything goes through this clock spring on here. So it's very important. And like on this one, this one's actually out of a 14, 13 or 14 F450 uh, excavating truck. You know, really used pretty hard. And it had an airbag light on, the horn didn't work, and of course any steering wheel control didn't work also so that's a dead giveaway if all your control I mean, everything goes out at once like that uh, or your let's say your horn goes out and then all of a sudden a couple days later your airbag light comes on and then your steering wheel controls aren't working uh, it's dead giveaway that your your clock spring is falling apart internally another dead giveaway take this off this is how this one goes around, right? Now listen, these should be nice and quiet. And this one's really loud. You can even, even hear it in the vehicle with the steering wheel still attached. Quiet that up real quick. Hear all that like clicking noise? It shouldn't be making that noise at all. So you could just, you could, if you hear that noise, and any one of your components on there are not working on your steering wheel, horn, anything, right? You know your clock spring is bad. Now, in case you're watching this video because you think your clock spring is bad, uh, the one thing I can tell you is that each model and year, it seems, is different for all these vehicles. So make sure you really read up on exact, the exact procedure for your particular vehicle. And also make sure you depower the restraint control module or airbag module. And usually the procedure for that is disconnecting the battery uh, for 10 minutes or more and they'll deplete any capacitors in the system. So when you get your new clock spring right, it's going to look something like this, but clean obviously. And it's going to have a locking tab on it, whether it be yellow, green, or white like this one. And you need to leave that locking tab on there until you're ready to bolt on the steering wheel. So you take it, you bolt it onto the steering column, right? All your little bolts. And then when you're ready to put that uh, uh, steering wheel back on, that's when you yank this. And the reason for that locking tab is they don't want this thing just spinning around during shipping or handling and the ribbon inside of here will break because it's not an infinite loop in there. It only has a certain amount of length in there. And you'll see that ribbon in there a lot better and what I'm talking about once we tear this thing apart. Okay, so let's try to uh, take it apart. Usually it pops apart pretty easy on here and uh, try to get it apart without destroying too much get some inner tabs on here and I'll just show you this how it looks inside of here so you get a better idea on how these exactly work okay and this is how it looks inside of there on the older ones the ribbon on there was a little bit wider no, it's really white so it's hard to see but this is all basically is inside of there so it's a certain amount of length to it and once it gets wound around too many times uh, and it's not evenly spaced this is what can happen and that's literally all there is to it this connects to the connector here okay and on the other end it connects to over here comes over to your connector on your steering column. And that's how it actually keeps constant contact. 
and that's literally all there is to a clock spring. There's an outer housing that doesn't move, an inner housing that does move, and then a ribbon cable connecting the two of them together. Now clock springs, especially in Fords anyways, they usually don't fail too often. I don't change them, but maybe a few times a year. Um, this one was kind of an oddball being a 13 or 14, whatever it was, uh, F450, but they did have a new part that came out for them, so maybe there's a design flaw in the original. Also, if you have any kind of issues in your steering wheel, airbag, switches, horn, anything like that, don't even bother going to check for fuses. Everything on these steering wheels, uh, all the controls and the horn, it's all ground-based, whereas the horn's just sending a ground out. The switches themselves are all resistance-based, based. so each one of them has a different resistance, and that's how the control module, let's say the radio or the HVAC module, differentiates what kind of button you're pressing. There's no actual power going through there. The only one that's getting power, and that's only during an airbag event, a crash event, is the airbag itself. So, powers, fuses, not really an issue. Um, just listen for that noise when you're turning the steering wheel and make sure that it's nice and quiet in there. And then after that, you're gonna have to pull off the steering column shroud and start testing it out. But I just wanna give you guys an inside look and hopefully this helps you understand a little bit better about what's going on inside of there and uh, see how it works so you know how to start looking at uh, where the fault may lie, uh, depending on if it's noisy or not, and how many components on the steering wheel have failed, especially if they fail all at once.